fantastic to see you all. Welcome to today's virtual singing session with the Diocese of Leeds School Singing Programme. I'm Tom and today we're packing in a ferociously tricky tongue twister, a very hungry polar bear, a beautiful song to Our Lady, something in Latin and a terrifying roller coaster. So we're going to have to get warmed up really, really well. After me, bubblegum, bubblegum, chew and blow. Bubblegum, bubblegum, chew and blow. Bubblegum, bubblegum, on my toe. Bubblegum, bubblegum, on my toe. Bubblegum, bubblegum, tastes so sweet. Bubblegum, bubblegum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubblegum off my feet. Get that bubblegum off my feet. Let's do it once more. And after that, we're going to add some actions to help us get really nice and loose physically, ready for a really good sing. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, on my toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, on my toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off my feet. Get that bubble gum off my feet. The actions are pretty easy. Each action goes with one of the rhythms in the song. After me, bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, on my toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, on my toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off my feet. Get that bubble gum off my feet. Any idea why the actions were in a different order to the last line? It's because the rhythms are in a different order as well. The shortest words every time have the same rhythm. Bubble gum. Your turn. Bubble gum. Then the slightly longer notes have another action. Join in with me. So it's chew and on my, taste so, and get that, and off my. And then the longest actions make us wear that silly hat. Blow, toe, sweet, and feet. Should we see if we can get the actions in the right order when we do the whole thing? And off we go. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, on my toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off my feet. That is as fast as I can do that one. Can't get any faster. But I wonder what would happen if I press the fast forward button and then do it really, really quickly. Let's find out. Exhausting! Wow! So, we've got our bodies nice and loose, it's really important before singing. Let's get our breath working. If anyone's had a birthday recently, I hope you had a cake with plenty of candles on it. When it's my birthday, I have to have hundreds of candles on mine. I'm so old. So, one hand on your tummy, the other hand is going to be the candles. Blow them out! See how long you can keep going for. Well done. So we've warmed up physically, got our breath working. Time to get the voice starting to work. Starting really high, I'd like you to be a roller coaster that follows my hand. So my hand is up here, the pitch is high. As it whizzes down, it gets lower and then back up. It might even loop the loop at times. So we start up here on an oo sound. Remember, your voices are a lot 
higher than mine is. And off we go. started our voice working through the whole range as well, which is great. This next exercise switches on our brains and our ears. It's one you did with Will last week and I'm sure you'll be doing it again because it's an absolute classic. It's really, really good for us as musicians. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one. And we go all the way up to eight because eight is the next high version of the note for number one. Eight notes apart, called an octave. And off we go. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. What I'd like to do now is replace number three. Somebody's stolen it. Replace number three with a clap instead. You can do it. And off we go. One. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, four, two, one, one, two, four, five, four, two, one, one, two, four, five, six, five, four, two, one, one, two, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, two, one, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four. Two, one. Did you notice in the middle of that? I got completely lost and forgot which number was coming next. Music's great because making mistakes, it's not the end of the world. You just learn from them and they happen. So if you ever get something wrong in one of these sessions, it doesn't matter, just keep going. Wrong and strong is brilliant. This time, somebody has nicked number five as well. So we're going to clap on three and stamp on five and hopefully, I'll get it right this time. And off we go. One, one, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, four, two, one, one, two, four, four, two, one, one, two, four, six, four, two, one, one, two, four, six, seven, six, four, two, one, one, two. Four, six, seven, eight, seven, six, four, two, one. Phew! It's a great exercise because it makes us hear the numbers for three and five, hear the notes for those numbers in our heads while we're doing the action. And that's a brilliant skill to have as a musician, to be able to hear the music internally and to think ahead as well. A quick chant before we move on to our next song. Che che coole, che che coole, che che coole, che che coole, che che coffinsa, che che coffinsa, coffinsa langa, coffinsa langa, kakashi langa, kakashi langa, comadende, 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 comadende. Let's do a quick round. This is one you sang with me a couple of weeks ago. Join in straight away if you can. Lovely. The Latin 
living words are from Psalm 100. Be joyful in God, the whole world. We can sing this as a round. So when I start, you'll be lighted here. You can wait until after I've sung Jubilate like this. Should we try it? We'll sing it all the way through together once and then straight after that we'll do it in two parts. You can decide to do the first part or the second part. We'll be singing in harmony. Fantastic. In our warm-up today, we've worked on getting physically warmed up and coordinating ourselves with bubblegum, using our breath really well, using all our vocal range, thinking about hearing notes in our head and singing around in harmony. As it's May, the church has lots of special devotions to Mary. We're going to start with this beautiful hymn to Our Lady. If you know it from school or from church, Join in straight away. legato. So while we sing this hymn, we're going to do three verses. Let's practice our legato singing, try and use our tummy muscles to help our breathing, and because in a hymn the words, the message in the words is so important, we're going to have really good singing mouths. Join in with me for three verses. We'll pop the words on the screen. Yeah. 
special places where people go on pilgrimage to Mary. This week, let's think about those special feasts during the year when we celebrate Our Lady and we'll put a list of the most important ones up on the screen now. Here's a terrifically tongue-twisting rhyme. Say after me with a big, tall mouth for singing. Itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, dipsy hippopotamus. Itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, dipsy hippopotamus. Well done. The next phrase is a bit shorter, but we do it twice. I'll go first. Barbecue, Ken and barbecue. Barbecue, Ken and barbecue. Barbecue, Ken and barbecue. Barbecue, Ken and barbecue. I hope you're ready for this one. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. If you're finding that one hard, get a grown up to do it as well. There's no way they'll be able to do it to start with. So let's do it a bit slower. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. When we're learning something, a great way to practice it is to slow it down and put it into smaller chunks. Chuck a chop of chicken. Chuck a chop of chicken. Or chop a chip bottle chili up. Or chop a chip bottle chili up. Should we try gluing that bit together? Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. There's a special word when you're writing and you use a whole series of words that start with the same sound. Do you know what it is? It's alliteration. Chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. I think we can do the whole thing. Let's do it together fairly steadily. And off we go. Itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, dipsy hippopotamus. Barbecue, Ken and barbecue. Barbecue, Ken and barbecue. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. Wow, I love the jazzy rhythms in this. And those jazzy rhythms, when they cut across the beat, there's another really brilliant musical word for it, which is syncopation. So let's do it one more time. And while we're saying a rhyme, we're gonna keep the pulse like this. Itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, dipsy hippopotamus. One, two, and off we go. Itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy, dipsy hippopotamus. Barbecue, Ken and barbecue. Barbecue, Ken and barbecue. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. Chuck a chop of chicken or chop a chip bottle chili up. Fabulous. Alliteration. Syncopation.
On Tuesday, Lucy H gave us a brilliant list of fantastic songs by Alan Simmons that we all love to sing. And this reminded me of Roller Ghoster, which I haven't done for a while. When I've done it in schools, people have loved singing this, so hopefully you might know it and want to join in. We'll do the whole song, then I'll work a little bit on verse one, and then next week you'll get the chance to work and learn more of the spooky section in the middle. So, hope you're strapped in. Here we go, it's Roller Ghoster. We're not scared, we're terrified. Everything is turning up and down inside. No one warned us such a ride would be guaranteed to make us feel sick. We're going up, we're going down. And then we stop to look around. We plant our feet on solid ground. And now we're feeling okay. We're moving on right away to have a go on another great ride. Let us just remind you. Keep on moving, look ahead. Something's right behind you. Maybe we should have stayed in bed. You feel a chill. nothing there. So if you hear a rattling of bone, then maybe it's your own, just rattling with me. We're not scared, we're terrified, everything is turning up and down inside. No one warned us such a ride would be guaranteed to make us feel sick. We're going up, we're going down, and then we stop to look around. We plant our feet on solid ground, and now we're feeling okay. We're moving on right away to have a go on and have a great ride. I kept forgetting how the piano part went in that. Um, let's work a little bit on verse one. What we need for this is really good singing technique so we don't end up shouting by mistake. So we're going to change the atmosphere and be really calm. We're not scared, we're terrified. Your turn. We're not scared, we're terrified. Everything is churning up and down inside. Everything is churning up and down inside. No one want us such a ride. No one such a ride would be guaranteed to make us feel sick. Would be guaranteed to make us feel sick. We're going up, we're going up, we're going down, we're going down. And then we stop, and then we stop to look around, to look around. We plant our feet, we plant our feet on solid ground on solid ground and now we're feeling okay we're moving on right away and now we're feeling okay we're moving on right away to have a go on another great ride to have a go on another great ride just before we finish this session let's do all of the first verse once more remembering although we're excited we're going to keep our really smooth our really legato singing voices and we're going to let the piano portray and narrate the feeling of the roller coaster going up and down <laughs> Turning up and down inside. No one warned us such a ride would be guaranteed to make us feel sick. We're going up, we're going down, and then we stop to look around. We plant our feet on solid ground, and now we're feeling okay. We're moving on right away to have a go on another great ride. Have you been on any really terrifying roller coasters? I think they're fantastic, but I'm always very nervous in the queue waiting to get onto them. We're going to have a little musical quiz now, so you might want your pens and papers ready, or you might want to put the answers in the chat. However you get on, let us know how many of those questions you think you got right. They're coming up right now. Here are the questions. 
Why did the order of the actions change in bubblegum at the start of our session? What's the musical word for speed? If the music is forte, is it loud or quiet? What are the missing letters in this word? And what does syncopation mean? Here are the answers. It's because the order of the rhythms changed. The musical word for speed is tempo. If the music is forte, it's loud. The missing letters in rhythm were Y and H. And syncopation is when the notes are off the beat, often feeling really jazzy. It's the end of the session, so that means it's time for the very hungry polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear and I don't like it very much. You just join in and then as the polar bear gets hungrier and hungrier, join in with those bits too. And go one, two, three, four. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear and I don't like it very much. Oh no, he's got my toe. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear and I don't like it very much. Oh no, he's got my toe! Oh gee, he's eaten my knee! I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear and I don't like it very much. Oh no, he's got my toe! Oh gee, he's got my knee! Oh flip, he's eaten my hip! I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear and I don't like it very much. Oh no, he's got my toe. Oh gee, he's got my knee. Oh flip, he's eaten my hip. Oh fiddle, he's up to my middle. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear and I don't like it very much. Oh no, he's got my toe. Oh gee, he's got my knee. Oh flip, he's got my hip. Oh fiddle, he's up to my middle. Oh heck, he's eating my neck. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear. I'm being eaten by a big white polar bear and I don't like it very much. Oh no, he's got my toe. Oh gee, he's got my knee. Oh flip, he's eaten my hip. Oh fiddle, he's up to my middle. Oh heck, he's eating my neck. Oh dread, he's bitten off my head. Well, that was a very hungry polar bear and a very frightening experience for me. So, thank you for joining in today. I hope you've enjoyed the session. I'm sure you've sung brilliantly. Make sure you hit the like button, share this channel with your friends, subscribe to it. We want to get thousands more people joining in as well and sharing the fantastic joy of singing. You can like us on Facebook as well and follow us on Twitter. Stay in touch, let us know what your favorite songs are what you'd like to do in the future with these sessions as well. So thank you so much again for joining in. See you next time. Bye.